Let me tell you a quick story about how giraffes started getting long necks. Because believe it or not, a long time ago, they had super short necks, just like just like little um, goats, okay? Just like little um, dogs, basically. Very short necks. Now, by explaining the story, I'm going to explain evolution because this process is evolution. So before that, I really quickly want to give you a definition here, okay? A definition of evolution. So evolution is this. Read carefully. The cumulative change in heritable characteristics over generations. So what do we take away from this definition? I will explain. This definition will make perfect sense once I tell you the story, okay? So don't worry too much about this definition right now. So here we have a long, long time ago, long time ago, okay, in South Africa, we're in the safari, it's where I'm from, and we have these giraffes, okay, this is a long time ago. Notice these gir giraffes look kind of odd, right? They have really short necks, okay? This is not what me and you are used to. Now, back then, these giraffes used to eat like horses from the floor, okay, from the grass on the floor. Now, what happened is the grass on the floor started getting really scarce, as you can see in this image, really scarce. Now, this meant that the only way these giraffes can survive is if they can reach the trees, okay? So what happens is we can see here, here's some giraffes, some have very, very short uh, necks and some have slightly longer necks, okay? This is just normal variation. It's like some people are slightly taller than other people, right? And what happens is, so they're starting to compete now. And this, there's, this one goes to the tree and realizes, oh crap, I cannot reach. My mouth cannot reach. I can't eat. I'm going to die. And that's what happens. They die. The very short ones will pass away. So let me delete them. Okay, they will pass away. Here to emphasize that they passed away, we have a dead one. Its eyes are crossed and it's on the floor. Okay, so all the short ones couldn't survive. They died. But these ones could go and they were tall enough to reach the trees. And so they can eat. They can survive a bit longer to pass on their genetics. So what happens is very long time ago, only the ones with the slightly, slightly longer necks could survive. And so what happens is then, they will mate together. They will have kids, right? All, all the ones that survive. And because we know the ones that survive are the ones with slightly longer necks, we know their kids will have similar genetics to them, right? It's like your parents. Your parents, you are most likely going to be a similar height to your mom or your dad, right? So that's the same thing here. So if two taller necks giraffes have kids, their kids will most likely have similar, similar neck length. Um, but it's possible that they have a kid with short short neck, right? That's also possible. Like your parents could be tall, but you could also manage to be short somehow. It's also a possibility. But overall, their kids will be either um, similar, similar neck length or even a bit taller, okay? So let's say this happens. Now what's going to happen now? All these kids now, again, have to compete to survive. So automatically, the short one will die, right? Because it cannot compete. All of these are taller and it cannot even reach the tree. So it will die. Let's just show it. It's dying. Okay, once again, weep, it dead, dead, proper dead. Now we have these two. We know this one can reach the tree, right? The bottom part. Same with, same with the tallest one. So they can both reach this tree and they can go both get food. But after a while, there's no more leaves at the lowest part of the tree. So now they have to compete with this higher part. And now we know this one cannot reach anymore. So guess what? After time, it will run out of food and it will die. Okay, so it dies. Just the same way as the short one did. What does this leave us with? This leaves us with this one that is able to reach this part of the tree. And so it can eat and survive. So th now these with slightly longer necks will now be able to reproduce and have kids, right? And so all the short genetics, they, they, they are never able to get passed on because they keep the animals with these shorter neck genetics keep dying. So this their traits, their genetics cannot be passed on. They cannot be, their kids will never happen, right? Okay, so continuing the last step here. So now they have kids and again, they can have kids. Some can be shorter, some can be even longer. But notice, they don't make kids that are extremely short necked, okay? That's not possible anymore. Over a long time, those with very short necks don't exist anymore, okay? They, they simply don't get made because it's impossible to have such a short neck from parents that have medium long necks, okay? So, again, now the whole process happens. Automatically, they will all compete for this one. Um, but now, this one cannot reach the higher ones. Again, it dies. Okay, so you can notice it's going to pass away. <whistles> Dead. Rip. Rest in peace. Now, they all compete and they can all reach this level, right? But now, this one 
is unable to compete for the highest one. It cannot reach, but these can kind of, if they try their best, they can, they can give it a go and reach and get some. So that means this one will also die, okay? So again, rest in peace, giraffe. And now guess what happened? What happened overall now? Overall, we have the tallest ones survived, these two, okay? And they will now eat this and survive and again, pass on, gen pass on their genetics. So do you notice? I have established a pattern. This is going to keep happening and keep happening. And these giraffes will keep getting longer and longer necks till the present day now. Now they have super long necks, right? Even longer than this concept. Very long necks, okay? This is evolution. Let me go back to the definition. This was a cumulative, a gradual change. All these stories I said, it looks like it happened in three generations, right? But this was just for the story's sake. This happens much slower. It takes many, many generations, thousands of years. Okay, but the story makes the concept clear. Okay, but bear in mind it happens super slow. Okay, super, super slow. It's a very slow process. It takes generations. Okay, so it's a slow change in this feature of having a neck, a, this the specific characteristics over many generations. Okay, so this is to emphasize how slow evolution really is and what it is. It's kind of amazing. Now, there is four steps to the mechanism of evolution that I just explained. Okay, and I'm putting them in word form right now so you can read it okay um oh yeah by the way so again just for fun i made this so it started off super small over the generations thousands of years giraffes started having longer and longer necks okay and this enabled them to be able to survive right all the short ones weren't able to survive and they died okay now here are the four steps you need to know wait let me just remove this okay so Four steps, the mechanism for evolution, that we call this natural selection, okay, because nature decided who survived. Nature selected who survived. In this case of our story, the taller neck giraffes always survived compared to the shorter ones, okay? So it's natural selection. It's kind of another good term for it is survival of the fittest. In this case, fittest meant longest neck, okay? So step one, populations are generally stable despite large numbers of offspring. So Basically, what this means is the parents were always able to make many, many kids, but the environment wasn't always suitable for all the kids to survive, okay? The kids had to compete to survive, right? Because Nate, there wasn't an excess amount of leaves. There was just a certain amount, and they had to compete for it. And, then, and now, the second step is the better adapted individuals, in the case of our story, the ones with longer necks, had an advantage, right? And because they had an advantage... They were able to survive and pass on their genetics. That's step three. There's a heritable variation within species. So they had a variation in height. And now they can have kids with other giraffes and pass on this trait, this genetic, so that their kids could have it one day. And so after a long time, after evolution, thousands of years, this advantageous trait of having a long neck became more frequent. Okay, It became more frequent. More and more giraffes had long necks. And more and more that the short giraffes just uh, completely um, not appear anymore. The, that, that genetic kind of went away, like w was blown away in the wind, okay? It didn't exist anymore, okay? And that's it. So that's what you need to understand for the mechanism of evolution, how it happened. And you should know that two people that came up or kind of proposed this mechanism was Alfred Wallace and Charles Darwin. You'll learn more about them. We'll speak more about them in future videos. So I hope this made as much sense as possible. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video.